Sorry, I got excited. I got this new product here from Freemax and I'm so excited to give this thing a review. It's the Maxis Solo. So ain't nothing to it, but to get into it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today I finally got the opportunity to do the review on the Freemax Maxis Solo. That thing is a gorgeous mod and the RGB lighting effects, it's fantastic. And they came out with a new coil to put in the Fire Luke tank that's on this. Oh man, give me a second. I need to turn these lights off and stuff and get serious for a moment because I am so impressed with this device. It has been a long time coming for us to be able to actually have something fun like this. We can all enjoy on our weekends when we go out. Give me a minute. Wow. All right, time to get serious here for a second, folks. Here's the package that I got from Freemax. It's the Maxis Solo and this beautiful mod was sitting in here. I threw a battery in there. Oh, I could not believe. I was so excited to see the lighting in this. I know it's a gimmick, I know it's a gimmick. But man, when you grew up in the 80s, you had arcade games, Chuck E. Cheese, every weekend just so we can go play Tron and all the other arcade games that are out there. And look at this, beautiful. It's a smoked plexiglass cover covering the chip with the LCD display. You can see the processor inside there. And man, there's a reason why RGB lighting is so popular. This thing is fantastic. Now, I've been using this thing now for about a week, almost a week. Tomorrow will be a week. I went out to the local vape shop and his first question was, dude, what kind of mod you got there? That is awesome. This is going to give a lot of excitement to the vapors out there. We've been fighting this advocacy to try and keep our rights to vape and Freemax came out with this amazing device. Now, Single 21700 battery. And it is marked in there. I'm, my lighting is still isn't finished in this place. But you can see, you can clearly see, there's a positive in there. Drop your 21700 battery in there. And there you go. Fires right up. Now, they actually have a physical switch for you to disable your mod. No more having to click and click and click and click. Look at that. You flick it on. And they went, and went, went ahead with this T-fiber cotton formulation for the new fire loop coils. Yes, and they have inside here two pieces of mesh. One piece of mesh goes around one side and the other piece goes around the other side of this coil. It's just fantastic. Now, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. It's not a flavor banger like the Freemax Maxis Max. This thing, when you put this thing in here from the very first toke, that flavor pops. Now, in the Fire Luke, the coil doesn't give as much flavor, in my opinion, as the coils that go into the Maxis Max. But that's actually a good thing because the coil in this is just as good as it was the first day I put it in here. These coils are gonna last longer than the coils that go into the Maxis Max. I don't know for sure yet because I mean, I've only been using this thing for six days now. So 
I'll have to leave a comment below or if I get this thing done and the coil kicks before I post this video, I'll have to update you later. But this thing, I love it. Three clicks to get into the menu. That power. Here's our settings. You can adjust the timeout, the theme color. Now this is the theme color for the display, not for the LEDs. The LEDs, you have separate controls to turn it off. Like if you're using this while you're driving and you're not allowed to have lights on while you're driving, well, you can turn the lights off and just use it as a regular mod. Mm. And I love that speedometer design on here. I wish that they would have let that be a little bit longer on the screen, like, you know, give it a five second timeout or something, or give you the ability to change that. Because I think that's pretty cool. It kind of goes with this whole lighting theme that they have going on here. That is fantastic. All right, back to the menu. So you can turn your LED on or off, and it does save battery. If you use this thing with a 21700 battery, and you've got the lights on the whole time, you're not gonna get through a whole day on a single 21700 battery. So you have to swap the battery out. No big deal, right? So you can actually go in and change this. Now these three settings that they have in here, always on, breathing, and flashing, as you can tell, that totally is a game changer for the LEDs in this thing. Just straight on, breathing is what I had it on, and then flashing. And they got a random pattern set up in here with the different colors and the different lights, and it's just awesome. But if you like to tinker, you can literally go in and change it and customize these colors. You can change the amount of art, art red. This thing is awesome. I mean, I love being able to tinker with stuff. You can get somebody that finally quit smoking and gets this thing, and you can just go and play with it and customize it to your desires and the way that you like things. Oh, man. Just like that, it's customized. Fahrenheit or Celsius options. You can reset your puff counter. You can reset the time counter. You can reset the whole device. And there you go. A fantastic mod. And this Fire Luke tank, they fixed it. The original Fire Luke tank, the reason I had a problem with it, it was a slider, right? And if you, take, you took this thing, you put it in your pocket or whatever, that slider opens up, you got juice all over the place. That's horrible. Well, they went and did the same thing that you have on like the Aspire Odin. Lift up and then slide it. And it's right here at the label. Lift up, slide it open. Now, you all know, I make my own juice. No nicotine, no tobacco derivatives are ever in my juice. So this perfectly falls into play with this Freemax product because guess what? It's not meant for use with tobacco derived e-liquids. Sorry. Sorry, YouTube. Okay, so you put use a 120 mil bottle. You can fill this, but this will not go into there unless you remove the drip tip. So if you're one of those people that have to, you know, perfectly line up your bottle, you'll need to take your drip tip off. And it's that simple to fill your thing. And now you know that this thing is not going to open up. Look, I'm shaking my whole table and this thing won't open unless you lift up and slide it over. Fantastic job, Freemax.
and a really, really good consistent vape on this thing. I I'm flabbergasted by it. Now, this mod, I was walking around the last couple days with my Arbiter on this mod. And like my daughter had cheer practice, so I was out chain vaping, sitting in the parking lot, waiting for her to finish up, scrolling through social media. This thing does get a little warm when you're chain vaping on it. And that's because you got a battery sitting right behind this plexiglass. There is no cooling, you know, surfaces for it to draw the heat away from your battery. So as you're chain vaping on this, you are gonna feel a little bit of heat from here. But it doesn't get overly hot. It didn't, you know, go into safety shutdown or nothing. This thing is perfectly designed. And the button on this thing, somebody finally come up with a button that isn't mushy and it isn't clicky. It is literally a perfect balance right in between. No rattle on the button. You can feel it when you click on it. It just, I'm sorry, folks. I truly love this mod. It is the best mod that I've gotten so far. And that isn't because Freemax sent it to me. This is truly the mod that makes me the happiest. And I have hundreds of mods out there. Look at the screen difference. They're using the same technology, having this multi-level, multi-layer screen. You've got the LED panel behind it, but because the plexiglass is here and it's rounded, it's clearly visible from any angle. That is fantastic. You get eyesight like mine, you need something that is clear to see like this. Now, are the puff counter and these other little digits a little small for me yeah but that's not what i'm looking at the mod for the most important thing i'm looking at the mod for is to make sure that the wattage didn't change and what's the level of the battery you can clearly see on here this battery is half full that's fantastic i looked down at last night and i'm like oh the battery's all white i gotta go change this so you change it it's fantastic Such a nice, consistent vape. And I can taste my OG blue. And you know me, I cut the flavor percentages way back because I don't need that kind of intense flavor anymore. And I can taste it in this. Doesn't smack you in the face, but doesn't need to. If you can get a beautiful vape and it eliminates your desire for combustible tobacco. I mean, that's a win in my book. All right, all right, all right. I, I normally do an unboxing review and I'm sorry I changed the format, but I was so excited about this thing. Oh, let's get this opened up. And that's the way it's gonna come for you. Beautiful, look at that green. This is the black one. This is the gunmetal one. This thing comes in eight different colors. Mm. Whoops, this thing comes in six different colors. We have a red, a gunmetal, a golden, a sea blue, a black, and a cobalt blue. But this black one is just beautiful. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Five clicks to turn on, but it, for you to turn it off with the five clicks, you need to have this in the locked position. All right, here's the new Fire Luke tank. As I said, lift up, slide over to fill. Now they got the tension on this bottom one a little tighter than the original Fire Luke. Another design improvement. And there's the beautiful coil. 
And as you can see on here, wraps around this half of the coil, and then there's a separate mesh that wraps around the other half of the coil. Dual mesh in a nice, beautiful coil. There, now you guys can actually see the difference. Here is the single coil. And there's the mesh inside there. Here's their dual coil. And here is their triple coil. You can get customize this to your heart's content. And somebody finally nailed the airflow for these things. Amazing. I love it. I love it. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this review. I finally have an awesome mod and an awesome tank to truly enjoy vaping again. Don't get me wrong. I love all my other mods, but there's just something about RGB lighting that really got me excited about this product. Delicious. So that wraps it up for me for today. I truly appreciate you guys watching all these videos. Hit the like and subscribe button below. Leave a comment below. Let YouTube algorithm know that you want to watch this kind of stuff because they're doing just about everything they can to wipe off these vape reviewers from their platform. Mm. Folks, I'm not going anywhere. This construction has taken way too long. I'm going to be putting out the news this week. I'm going to the e Summit conference virtually that's being held in Washington, D.C. tomorrow. Wednesday, I'm gonna record the news and get it uploaded as soon as I can, probably Friday. So that wraps it up for today. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And remember, peace, love, and a hunky vape is all you need to stay away from deadly combustible tobacco. Have a great day. Wow, I really love this thing.